Today we're going to be talking about the average 40 time based on your age for football players. So we're going to break this video up into three different age categories. So the 40 yard dash is one of the most overhyped things in my opinion in the sport of football. I think so many people put so much emphasis on the 40, like what's your 40 time? They think it's a good gauge of speed. The only time that that 40 yard dash is probably important is if you're at the NFL combine. Any point leading up to that, college, cou college scouts, high school coaches want to see game film and actually live practice speed and game film that showcases you have game speed, right? They don't necessarily care about what you can do in t-shirt and shorts up to that point. But you could use the 40 yard dash as maybe a gauge of where you're at, where you compete with other athletes. So the first age group that we're going to use is ages 9 to 12. So I would say anywhere from a 5.9 to a 5.5 is probably an average range for that age group. Now, if you're above a 5.9, maybe you're below a 5.5, whatever the case may be, guys, don't get discouraged. At your age, you still have a ton of time to develop and you still have a ton of time to work on your speed. Now the next age group we're going to talk about is ages 13 to 15. So this is like I would say anywhere between like maybe late sixth grade all the way up till eighth grade, maybe freshman in high school. Now this is when your speed obviously gets a little bit more important. That age is 9 to 12. Likely you guys haven't probably hit puberty yet at that age, but if you're in that 13 to 15 range, I would say anywhere from like a 5, 3, 40 yard dash to a 4, 9, 40 yard dash would be average. Now again, all this 40 yard dash talk is mainly for skill position players, right? If you're a skill position player, then this is that's when your speed ultimately matters. If you're a lineman, you're a D-line, O-line, I wouldn't say your 40 time should be really even a thought that enters your mind. This is mainly for skill position players. Now, as athletes in the offseason, we are always so focused on improving our speed, improving our skills, that sometimes we neglect doing the right things to actually put on muscle mass and size, because putting on size is important if you are a football player. So, what can you do to put on muscle mass? A lot of athletes do the right things in the gym. They lift heavy, they lift in that hypertrophy range, but they may not be supplementing correctly to build muscle and to have proper muscle gain. So that's why I recommend high school aged athletes take a creatine monohydrate supplement. So if you guys would like a 100 serving creatine monohydrate powder, check out that very first link in the description below you guys and use the promo code FIRST15, F-I-R-S-T-1-5 at checkout to get 15% off this product from AG Labs. Now, why is creatine important? What does it actually do? What creatine does is that will essentially pull water from your body and hydrate your muscles internally, which helps with short bursts of energy in the gym and ultimately helps with strength in the gym when your muscles are more hydrated. You have to make sure that you are drinking water. Don't consume any more than 10 grams of creatine a day because that's the recommended dosage, but that will help you with strength in the gym and you will get more out of your workouts. You'll be able to lift heavier weight. You'll be lift more weight on your max lifts and that will ultimately help you put on size. So guys, a creatine supplement is great for you to use. Make sure that you consult with your parents, somebody that you trust before hopping on the supplement because there are a lot of negative opinions on creatine, but it is safe if taken properly. So check out that very first link in the description below for your own creatine monohydrate powder. Now the next age group that we're going to talk about is ages 16 and above. So this is when the 40 yard dash maybe gets a little bit more important when standing out to a college coach, maybe at a camp, maybe at a combine, whatever the case may be. But I would say anywhere from a 4.8 and below is enough to be able to play, you know, high level high school ball or be able to transition to the collegiate level, right? If you're a skill position player, guys, at the next level, there are some dudes who are crazy fast, insane athletes. So if your 40 yard dash isn't where it needs to be, we're also going to talk about how you can improve your 40 yard dash. So first and foremost, you need to be emphasizing explosive movements in the gym. The 40 yard dash in a nutshell, for the first 10 yards, you were trying to be explosive. They call that a drive phase. And then the last 30 yards of the 40 yard dash, that's where you're trying to hit top speed. They call it the acceleration phase. So that explosion has has to lead you into the acceleration phase. So doing exercises like power cleans, Olympic lifts, trying to be as explosive and move weight as fast as possible will help with that initial start phase. Now I recommend all you guys, if you're getting ready for a combine, should maybe do a session or two with a speed coach or a guy who is an expert at the 40 yard dash because he can teach you a lot about the start, the mechanics of it, because most of it guys is all mechanical. If you want to shave some time down, I would highly recommend working on your explosion, obviously working on your speed. We have tons of workouts and drills on this channel that you guys can do for speed if you scroll through our playlist of our different videos. But guys, working on the 40-yard dash, I highly recommend getting a technical coach if that's something that you need to improve on. 